this is not the Christianity you were taught this is better Acts chapter 17 and verse 22 then Paul stood in the midst of Mars Hill and said ye men of Athens I perceive that in all things you are too superstitious he's a pretty bold guy isn't he for as I passed by and beheld your devotions I found an altar with this inscription to the unknown God whom therefore you ignorantly worship him declare I unto you well I worship the Holy Ghost as God he's God in the earth today he's the one Jesus sent to be with us in the earth today him declare I unto you unknown to a lot of people they don't worship him and they're ignorant of it they're ignorant of him oh but I know the anointing I know the gifts of the Spirit the anointing and the gifts of the Spirit are not him those are things he gives those are things he has if you think that's him you don't know him that's why you don't worship him but I have come to know the Holy Ghost say the Holy Ghost, the Holy Ghost. as the true and living God a lot of people don't know him that way I worship him and I walk with him in the earth by saying words this is not the Christianity you were taught I'm telling you because I was taught what you were taught I was you but I'm no longer you I'm you from the future did you hear that this is not the Christianity you were taught in fact it barely resembles it people that worship the Holy Ghost walk with him by saying words know exactly what I'm saying this is so different from the Christianity people were taught that people often when they see these messages or listen to these messages for the first time they number one maybe think it's heresy or they think this is just satire and I'm somehow making a joke of something this is no joke I am a worshiper of the Holy Ghost who is the Living God in the earth today and I walk with him by saying words I didn't know if it was real or if you were just joking I'm not joking well I didn't wake up just one day and say hey well, let's use this phrase the Holy Ghost is God in the earth today and you walk with him by saying words that'd be a that'd be a good catchphrase it is a good catchphrase but I didn't just wake up one day and come up with that and start saying it I spent years putting my time in to the denominations that I was in toe in the line preaching the messages doing all the things that I was supposed to do studying the scriptures and through this process the layers began to get peeled away layer after like an onion mm -hmm. you know what an onion is like you're peeling off the layers of religious dogma stripped away layer after layer until I got down to the living core where the living God mm -hmm. lives yes. who's the living God the Holy Ghost how do you walk with him by saying his words so when you've peeled it all back that's what's left you and the Holy Ghost in the earth fulfilling scripture mm -hmm. predominantly by speaking his words and you've learned that he is God say I've learned, I've learned. that he is God he is and if he is God you worship God don't you yes. God is a spirit and they that worship him must worship him in spirit and truth mm -hmm. I'm a Holy Ghost worshiper and I believe when I speak 
God's words out my mouth those words come to pass in my life that's pretty simple you'd be hard-pressed to find some kind of religious dogma of an onion skin wrapped around that mm -hmm. the Holy Ghost is God I worship him and when I speak his words out my mouth I believe those words come to pass in my life it's simple it's easy it's elegant it's effective in a way that other things weren't mm -hmm. that's not the Christianity I was taught but I didn't get here on my own I didn't just decide that hey let's do it this way I got here by doing what Jesus said yes. doing the sayings of Jesus say doing, doing. The, sayings the sayings of Jesus if you do the sayings of Jesus you will be here John chapter 7 37 in the last day the great day of the feast Jesus stood and cried saying if any man thirst let him come unto me and drink he that believes on me as the scriptures have said out of his belly shall flow rivers of living water verse 39 but this spake he of the Spirit which they that believe on him should receive meaning they're going to receive him in the future mm -hmm. for the Holy Ghost was not yet given because Jesus was not yet glorified mm -hmm. when he said this the Holy Ghost had not come into the earth like he has in our day the day of Pentecost right mm -hmm. this was not the, the Holy Ghost dispensation was Jesus's dispensation right. yeah. and Jesus was not yet glorified say glorified. glorified what does that mean he was not yet raised from the dead That's right. do you understand that mm -hmm. now you understand it in this verse of Scripture I'm gonna read another verse of Scripture a little bit later you remember this mm -hmm. that's what he's talking about when he says that he was not yet glorified he will be glorified yeah. right well, this spake Jesus of the Spirit the Holy Ghost literally says that the Spirit the Holy Ghost that they that believe on him should receive believers on Jesus should receive the Holy Ghost and was he just talking about a partial receiving maybe a little bit drip drab here or are you supposed to receive him as a person the one that Jesus sent he'll go on to tell you he's a person mm -hmm. he's a divine person he's literally God the Spirit they that believe on him should partially receive a little bit the Holy Ghost maybe here and there no. at a revival meeting maybe no Jesus was saying you need to fully receive him John 6 verse 29 says and Jesus answered and said unto them this is the work of God that you believe on him whom he has sent who is the one whom Jesus has sent the Holy Ghost, the Holy Ghost. this is the work of God in our day mm -hmm. say in our day, our day that we believe on him whom he Jesus has sent that's the Holy Ghost mm -hmm. we're supposed to believe on him and we're supposed to receive him whom he Jesus has sent mm -hmm. and yes I know in this day Jesus was talking about himself but that was in that dispensation this works the other thing doesn't this is the work of God this works mm -hmm. so who is the one Jesus sent the Holy Ghost you are told by Jesus to receive him what if I obey what Jesus said what if I do what Jesus said to do I would fully receive the one that he sent the Holy Ghost mm -hmm. critics say of me you don't talk about Jesus enough I'm talking about Jesus right now I'm telling you exactly how I got to where I am right now it's by doing the sayings of Jesus 
you say Jesus 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 Lord 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 and then don't do what he said don't receive the one that he sent for you to receive and walk with me walking with the Holy Ghost as God in the earth today pleases him in a way you can't so I do worship the Holy Ghost I do what Jesus told me to do and then you get mad at me but I've received the one whom he has sent I've received him and I believe in him and I walk with him in the earth just like I'm supposed to what's wrong with you well Jesus said I will go away and send another how do you have a problem with that how do you misunderstand this if I personally me if I go away if I say I'm gonna go away and send another am I there with you when the other is sent no I sent someone I sent someone else yeah. say he sent someone else, sent someone else. Yeah. that's that's the whole deal mm -hmm. I'm going away mm -hmm. but I will send another say another. another John chapter 16 verse 7 says nevertheless I tell you the truth it is profitable or expedient it is expedient for you that I go away I mean eminently profitable that he goes away he must go away yes. for if I go not away the comforter will not come unto you mm -hmm. that's just a word translated the words paraclete but it, it's literally talking he'll say who it is in a minute mm -hmm. but he says he's gonna go away and send someone else another the comforter mm -hmm. if I depart I will send him unto you did Jesus depart yes did he send another to be with you yes, yes. he said verily I tell you the truth this is the truth the truth is he departed the truth is he sent another yes. comforter mm -hmm. to be with you if I depart I will send him can you send someone if you're there with them no he departed what if he didn't say the first part of that I will depart mm -hmm. he'll just send somebody to be with you it's like what do you mean wouldn't you mean you just invite someone to be with us mm -hmm. this isn't so difficult we've made it difficult our religious doctrine has wrapped so many onion skins around us we don't even know it's an onion anymore well Jesus did do this right I'm preaching Jesus here I'm preaching the words of Jesus I'm preaching what Jesus did death burial resurrection bore your sins died on the cross rose from the dead the third day and then ascended into heaven but sat on the right hand of God and sent another say sent another. sent another don't you dare tell me I don't preach Jesus that's how we got here mm -hmm. he said if he didn't do that he wouldn't send the another that's right. so if I'm standing here with the another that's proof positive mm -hmm. that he did do what he said he was going to do yeah. depart and send another he the Holy Ghost has come he the Holy Ghost is a divine person he's not an angel he's not a man he's not a windy wispy thing he's a person mm -hmm. he is a divine person who is in the earth but you don't worship him your religious onion is keeping you from it now he is a divine person right we're gonna look at this in a second he's a divine person right he's God yes. I can go through it and I've done this before I can go through all the divine attributes of a person the will thinking mm -hmm. feeling mm -hmm. right all the things a person has he's a person and he's a divine person he's God Jesus must have known that someone would worship him he literally said God is a spirit they that worship him mm -hmm. right yes. but let's just you know think inside your little religious onion there that somebody may 
interpret these words of Jesus in a way that they would receive the one whom he sent as a divine person and if he is a divine person and he's in the earth someone is going to worship him yes. Yes. as God yes. you're like duh well I'm one of them I worship the Holy Ghost as God in the earth today I do this mm -hmm. I must do this mm -hmm. God is a the spirit they that worship him must say must, must. verse 13 how be it when he yes. say he. he when he is come person divine person Holy Ghost God in the earth today when he is come he the spirit of truth he will guide you into all truth mm -hmm. now I present to you that nobody can guide you into all truth except God because only God knows all the truth That's right. yeah. angels don't know all the truth demons certainly don't know all the truth you don't know all the truth only God knows all the truth mm -hmm. say it only God, only God knows, all knows all the truth well if he's going to guide us me into all the truth he must be God he mm -hmm. is God in the earth today yes. get that straight mm -hmm. for he shall not speak of himself don't get me started on this it really means he won't speak away from the truth he's the spirit of truth he can't speak anything but the truth he won't speak away from himself the truth but whatsoever he hears that shall he speak he will show you things to come mm -hmm. I present to you that nobody can show you things to come but God yes. only God can show you things to come things to come means the future are you here yes. only God can show you the future say only God, only God can show me the future only God can teach you all things and because he knows all truth right only God can show you the future he will show you things to come he will teach you all things verse 14 he shall glorify me oh you mean that means he shall only speak he'll only speak about Jesus he won't speak of himself he'll only speak about no stop it stop 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 it right now religious onion skin get rid of it what did we just read what did you say in the other verse before you got all religiously entangled he shall glorify me what did we say glorify meant before raise him from the dead are you here why is this such a shock makes me want to punch things we we were fine with him saying oh he was not yet glorified remember that are you still yeah. in the same message uh -huh. do we like flip channels the Holy Ghost was not yet given because Jesus was not yet glorified he shall glorify me how many times did Jesus go around and say and then the Son of Man will be raised from the dead and everybody was like huh? what are you talking about he was literally speaking his future he was literally being shown things to come because yeah. the Holy Ghost was with Jesus yes. and then the Holy Ghost glorified Jesus right. rose him from the dead are you here yes. who can raise people from the dead I present this to you there's only one being that can raise people from the dead God he Holy Ghost rose Jesus from the dead Amen. Romans 8 9 we won't look it up but it says says the Spirit raised Jesus from the dead mm -hmm. the Spirit raised Jesus from the dead only God can do that the Holy Ghost the Spirit is God he's a person he 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 13 times mm -hmm. and I'm not laughing huh. my point here is that the Holy Ghost is God obviously Jesus knew this he was telling people yes. when he is come he will act like God yes. well God forbid someone worship him recognize that he's God and worship him Jesus must have known someone would do it yeah. I'm that someone mm -hmm. That's right. 
i'm a they that worship him did you get that my point was that the holy ghost is a person he's god mm -hmm. so he's a divine person sent by jesus and the father to be with you in the earth where are you in the earth, in the earth. who's with you holy yeah. ghost mm -hmm. now we can choose to walk with him to one degree or another i suggest we receive him this is the work of god that you receive yeah. the one fully receive him for who he is now you shouldn't worship the holy ghost but he's god you should worship God you should worship the Holy Ghost say he's a divine person, he's a divine divine person. person. your doctrine says as much if you'd peel it back well I do worship him him I declare unto you mm. must be an unknown God to you him declare I unto you do you have anything to declare you ever go through the, the customs do you have anything yeah I have something to declare him the Holy Ghost he's God in the earth today I declare him unto you <laughs> first Corinthians 12 1 Paul is saying I would not have you ignorant concerning things pertaining to the Holy Ghost and yet people remain ignorant the Holy Ghost is God you should worship him and you should not be ignorant mm -hmm. of him mm -hmm. if you're not worshiping him you're ignorant of him is this still going over okay mm -hmm. you should worship him and not stay ignorant you can do that right when you learn something you shouldn't be ignorant of that anymore you change you make a change say I make a change, make a change. wasn't doing it before I am doing it now I'm telling you it's yeah. life altering it's religion altering mm -hmm. this is not the Christianity I was brought up in yeah. can you see that yes. I don't ignorantly worship him I know whom I'm worshiping mm -hmm. I'm no novice in this I've been around a while I believe the Holy Ghost is God in the earth today that he is the one Jesus sent to be in the earth to be with me and I walk with him by speaking in agreement with his words mm -hmm. more perfectly I believe that when I say God's words the Holy Ghost's words out my mouth those words come to pass in my life that's a more specific rendering of walking with him by saying words mm -hmm. I believe that when I say his words out my mouth they come to pass in my life I didn't get here overnight no. this is not heresy this is not satire this is what I believe and this is what the Bible is saying this is where Jesus wants you to be or he wouldn't have sent the Holy Ghost to be with thee because the more you know about him the more you will know that he is God shame on you for not worshiping him well because I've been willing to go here and a lot of people haven't why do I get to say all these things that a lot of people don't like somebody asked me that a while back they had a real problem receiving these things that I was saying to them they're like this this revelation is too big for you this should have been given to so-and-so big-name preacher television preacher or something and I agreed <laughs> it's like and the Holy Ghost said to me they wouldn't mm -hmm. doesn't mean he wasn't bringing them there it just meant they they said no mm -hmm. but because I've been willing to go here and others haven't I'm afforded great opportunity hear these words that others can't have is there opportunity in worshiping the Holy Ghost and speaking his words yes. people who do this know the opportunity is boundless mm -hmm. it's endless it goes listen it goes as far as the Living God can take you how far is that 
a door of utterance has been opened unto me a way to say things that others can't say mm -hmm. a way of living a way of thinking that others can't attain because they've refused to go here yes. worshiping the Holy Ghost as God in the earth today a door of utterance has been opened a great door of utterance and effectual a great door of utterance and effectual meaning and Paul was praying about this open this door to me so I can go through it and 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 that my utterance will be effectual listen when you begin worshiping the Holy Ghost as God your utterance of his word becomes effectual in a way that it could not before doors are for opening and closing are they not yes. keep things out keep things in mm -hmm. and when you go through the door it's different or why would there be does anybody just put a door out on the front of their lawn where it's just a door you go through it doesn't do anything no doors open and close well you go to this side because if you're not worshiping his him as God you're not daily using the words I worship you Holy Ghost your God in the earth today if you're not doing that you've not come through this door yet mm -hmm. to see the vast room of effectualness that you enter into it's a room of effectualness I am clean from all of the dead onion skin I don't like any of it anymore and I am free to move from one glory to the next glory to the next glory even by the Lord who is that spirit I'm not bound by all of all of those old things Romans 12 1 and 2 says be not conformed to this world but be ye transformed changed altered different by the renewing of your mind so you may prove what is that good and acceptable and perfect will of God mm -hmm. and you when you go from the good to the acceptable the good is no longer acceptable That's right. well I have left the good for the great I have entered into a new way with the living God the Spirit Lord and he shows me things to come and he teaches me all things because he is my God he's in the earth today and I worship him and I walk with him by speaking in agreement with his words first Timothy 6 17 says the living God gives me richly all things to enjoy those words are in my mouth I believe that when I say those words they come to pass in my life I'm walking with God the Holy Ghost the Living God and he gives me richly all things to enjoy this is not what Christianity taught me this is vastly different this is better this is where we should have gone but didn't mm -hmm. this is where we were supposed to go but didn't mm -hmm. thank you Holy Ghost people heard this word this evening and they've made a decision to move on with you and receive you as God in the earth today by beginning to use the words I worship you Holy Ghost and finding scriptures that they can put in their mouth and say until they come to pass and they will see says the Spirit Lord a new day open unto them a new room a new opportunity and a room of effectualness that wasn't open to them before but the new day has come for you says the Spirit Lord and you shall be changed from one glory to the next glory and it does never stop and we worship you Holy Ghost say this after me I worship you Holy Ghost, I worship you, Holy Ghost. you are God near today in Jesus name Jesus. Amen. amen if you have a tithe or an offering hold it in your hand say this after me Holy Ghost, Holy Ghost. I, worship I worship you you are a God of wealth God. there is nothing impossible to you and as I give I believe that I receive multiplied good measure pressed down 
shaking together, running over. It's given back to me. I worship you with it. In Jesus' name, amen. The Father is in heaven, Jesus at his right hand. Holy Ghost, your God in the earth.